You know, I think this could be a very good match. Not that we've seen Pai Po for some considerable time on the World Tour. Her last tournament was in March 2020 in the Spain Masters when she lost in the first round. And she's a, a lovely player, she's got lovely skills. Had to undergo elbow surgery at the end of 2016. That put her back a bit and then of course after her, she had recovered, we then had the global pandemic. So it's been a tough time of late for Pai Yu Po. So Yvonne Lee emerges down the ramp to come on to centre stage. She's uh, a player that I believe has improved considerably over the last, well, couple of years, though we've missed sort of a year, haven't we, or more than a year. Oh, we have. So first but meeting I now, I actually had that they'd met each other once previously. And that was in the group stage of the 2018 Uber Cup in Bangkok. And I can tell you that Pai Yu Po won on that occasion 21-12, 21-10 in 31 minutes. And it was impossible to see the toss of the coin. I really paid attention. Thank you, Morton. I did. Thank you for your efforts. I did. <laughs> I couldn't see it. No. Well, I mean, that, I think the important thing is when we are playing in a very drifty stadium, as yes. was the case in the Olympics, it then becomes very important. Yeah, I agree. But Pai Yu Po is... I had her down as 30 years of age, born in Taipei. Current world ranking of 43 has been as high as 20. A total of 10 weeks... Uh, 20 in the world across three different spells total of eight finals she's been in in international badminton winning three titles the last one being the russian super 100 event of 2019 when she beat the number one seed kirsty gilmore in three thrilling games in the final now she wasn't selected against tahiti uh, but Yvonne Lee was selected against Korea. She lost out to Unsi Young in two straight games. At 23 years of age from the port city of Hamburg, which is the second largest uh, city in Germany and the third largest port in Europe. And I know that because I used to play for Hamburg in the, <laughs> in the German League. In the German League. Yes. A few years ago. Uh, well, just one or two. That's very kind of you, Morton. <laughs> <laughs> Our up are from Belgium. Our service judge from Latvia. So as far as Yvonne Lee is concerned, well, last year had success on home soil in Germany when she reached the final of the event in Saarbrücken. Having beaten Lina Kiersfeld, in the semi-final stage, she then lost to Kirsty Gilmore in the final. So both of these players have played against Kirsty Gilmore in recent years. And of course Scotland will be in the Uber Cup next couple of weeks in Aarhus in Denmark because Scotland have qualified for the Uber Cup finals for the first time. Huge congratulations to them. We're looking forward to seeing them in Denmark. She's a very athletic player, is this lady, Yvonne Lee. Good athlete, strong legs, but she did get beaten by Ansi Young, 21-4, 21-11, in under 30 minutes of play. Yep. I didn't see the match, but uh, the me. scores are not looking good. No. I had expected a bit more from uh, Yvonne Lee in, in a match against Korea. Right, 
represented by Yvonne Lee. And on my left, Chinese Taipei, represented by Pai Yu Ko. Turning on to sir. So Germany, in the form of Yvonne Lee, getting this women's singles match underway against Pai Yu Po for Chinese Taipei. Following in the footsteps of her older sister, Pai Yu Po. Do you remember her sister, Pai Xiao Ma? She was a wonderful, lovely skills, easy, relaxed, hitting motion. Winner of four titles from five finals, including the US Open Grand Prix Gold in 2012. I used to love watching her play. Maybe I'm confusing the names because I think of a very sort of short player. From no, no she, no, she wasn't particularly short. And then that's not the same yeah. play I'm thinking of. shot yes a uh, reverse slice from Yvonne Lee you know Jill, I wouldn't be surprised if we're treated to yet another three, three game, game. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised either I've when I looked at the lineups this morning apart from some surprises uh, in the lineup like the mixed doubles brand new pair for Germany I looked at the women's singles I thought that could be the match of the day yeah Beautiful shot. It's lovely, isn't it? I think we have to mention the fact that the current world number one, Tai Su Ying, is not here at the Sudaman Cup. And it was well publicised that prior to the Olympics, she was uh, contemplating retirement after the Olympics. And I yes. think she's taken time out to consider her future. Certainly, it would be a huge loss to all of us Babington fans. It would be a sad day. <laughs> yeah, because she's so wonderful to watch. She's yep. so skillful, wonderful new uh, movement. And such great sporting spirit on court as well. But it's just, you know, with her not being in the, in the women's singles, that would be a definite loss. Yeah. Definitely. In world Babington. Yeah. Mm. Just wide. Yeah. She's challenging. I'm not altogether surprised about that. I wasn't really concentrated on that, so I'm not going to make a prediction. But okay, I think I judge is correct. And you think it was in? Yeah, I think it's out. Yes, I do beg your pardon. It's Pai Yu Po who's challenging, and you're right, Morton. Good call, challenge line judge.
Oh, nice snake shot. Oh, that was brilliant good. follow up. My goodness. So, Oh, and yeah. again. What a yeah. super smash. Strong, strong attack from Pi. In. Yeah, completely lost her spatial awareness there, Pai Yu Po. And you see in, in women's singles what Pai was just doing here, doing that scissors jump on the forehand side on the attack, really getting the body rotation into it. It's not very often you see women singles players doing that, so I was quite impressed. Yeah. Gone wide. Yeah. The big difference, I think, so far from what I've seen in this match, Morton, is that Pai Po has more weapons. She has more winning shots. They're both good athletes, but I think that Yvonne Lee is is sort of almost having to rely on her opponent's error rather than playing as many winners as her opponent has been able to play. Agree. Uh, one of the options that Yvonne Lee is having is that if she can sort of take the top off Pai in terms of a physical, if she can make the, the match last long rallies and then physically tire her opponent out a little bit, perhaps mistakes are coming in, perhaps the smashes are not penetrating in the same way and as, as sharp in the same way and, and due to that then uh, suddenly it becomes a more even match, even this is probably not fair to say because yeah. of course it's even. But I think that will really work in favour of Yvonne Lee. Yeah. the advantage at the mid-game interval. Oh, 
Yeah, good power slash from Pai Yu Po. And it is Chinese Taipei who has the one point advantage here at the mid game interval of the opening game. So it could not be closer at the mid-game interval. There has to be at least one point in it, and that's all there is. Super shot. That's a good rally. Yeah. Well, that's soul destroying if you lose a rally like that. Got the net cord. And then made the error on the backhand. Mr. help but wonder what you pie you po i mean she's started well but having not played any international individual tournaments for over 18 months now yes. in comparison yvonne lee has played nine yeah so she's sort of we always talk it's we hear it so often in sport about the difference between being physically fit and match fit yes and i wonder if pie you po is perhaps whether she's completely match fit. Oh, that was an opportunity. <laughs> Good but, rally. But normally when, when one say that you're not match fit is when you're not playing sharp enough. And uh, in on honesty, I, I really think that Payu Po is, is playing really, really sharp. So it's, it, even though I completely understand where you're coming from and what you're saying, I think she's doing extremely well. Considering she hasn't played, I still think there's a lot of sting in her shots. They're very sharp. That's another one. It's a beauty, isn't it? But what I had in my mind more was uh, maintaining this intensity of this yeah. elite level of badminton. Of course, she's almost certainly been practicing with yeah. uh, the good other players. good players. I don't know whether she trains with Tai Su Ying or whether Tai Su Ying just trains with her coach who was a very good player. Yeah. And, uh, we don't know that. But it's 
you know, when you come to the match level where there's that real intensity that mm. she hasn't experienced for a while. Yep, I'm, I, I agree with you. Yeah. But I still think she's playing sharp, everything considering. So do I. It's impressive. It's gone wide. Yeah. One left. back level yep. I think that was a clever change of uh, serve from uh, Yvonne Lee more like a flick serve a faster serve it's wide yeah one left Outmaneuvered by Pope, and that's well done by Yvonne Lee. Backhand net, full stretch, couldn't get back to the base position quickly enough. And the smash down the forehand side doing the damage. So all level once more, 16 all. Worth the challenge? Oh, I was. I would have been tempted to. <laughs> she was standing there next to it. Yeah. First time she's been in the lead since she led one love at the start of the match. And now it's time for Paiu Po to really find that two or three winning shots. Yeah, that's a beauty. No question of that. That was inside the line. And this is a run of four straight points. And coming back to your point earlier, I think you are getting right. Yeah. Just struggled with the pace a little bit, the intensity. Yeah, that's the sort of error that yeah. to me is a sign of a, a little bit of fatigue. And on a run of five straight points now, it's four game point opportunities for Germany and Yvonne Lee. of the last 10 points of the game for Yvonne Lee it to come from 13-15 down to win it 21-17 that is a great comeback by Yvonne Lee 19 minutes of fascinating badminton but Germany take the opening game
Coach Wang Shu Yun seems pretty happy with Yvonne Lee, and so he should be. Oh my goodness, missed the doubles court there. Yeah, it's a good smash. It's crisp, isn't it? Yeah, Three. very. Love. Got such a good overhead action. Technique and timing. As they say, this is as good as a mine. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think she actually mishit that attacking shot, pieing pole. Lack of pace on it actually caused problems for Yvonne Yet Lee. Yeah. That's a good smash. And when you look at the difference between the two players in terms of their smashing, when you look at Yvonne Lee, she's hitting her smashes or the timing and connecting with the shuttle is very straight on. So it's very easy to see where that uh, smash is coming. Where when you see Paiyu Po is, is playing her smashes, she's having a lot more sort of slice into it and disguise into it, which makes it very difficult to anticipate. So that's another one there. Yeah, that's a beauty, that's the it? difference between the two techniques, I think. How does that come about? Is that more of a relaxed grip and wrist? Yes. So that they they just change the racket head at the last moment? Finger power. Finger power. Well, this is a great start to the second game by Paiyu Bolt. Makes you wonder what on earth happened to her at the end of the first. I thought that two seconds ago. She could have used some of the points. Mm. Missed but, him. Yeah, but that was a little bit of slice into it. Yeah. So you like the idea, even though she missed. Yes. Had it been in with that fraction in, it would have been a winner. Yeah. A lot of the other smashes are just too straight and it's too easy to read. Three, 
Ayu Po was really made to work in this rally. She's doing well. But what a good control by Yvonne Lee. And now she's in trouble. Yeah, that's really well turned around by Payupo. She was chased all over the court in that rally. Kept it cool, kept it in. And then suddenly out of trouble in that deep forehand corner. And that's the winner. Really well played by Payupo. And it was the longest rally of 30 shots. Yeah, good return. Well, we know that Pai Yu Po is a very good player, Morton, because I don't know if you remember at the Fuzhou China Open at the end of 2019, she beat the reigning world champion, Paul Sullivan Carter Sindhu, yeah. in the first round. Beat her in three games, 21 19 in the deciding game. Yeah, I, I do remember that. Yeah, it was a huge shot, wasn't it? But it is an indication of Pai's quality. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Yes, she's finding one winner after the next. don't understand that. If you're going to serve low, out wide, what is the obvious shot that's going to come back? <laughs> yeah. Why are you not covering it then? The obvious shot is the block, straight block to the net. Exactly, not the cross. No. The two at the back and then the straight. Very important for Yvonne Lee to close the gap a bit here. Another two points would uh, help her course quite a lot. But it won't be because that's drifted long and it's a six point advantage for Pai Yu Po at the mid game interval here in the second game. But Yvonne Lee took the first. had a tremendous match against Tai Su Ying, the current world number one, in the first round of the French Open a couple of years ago. That went to three games. But when you look at the overall results, Pai Yu Po has enjoyed more success. Eight finals, as I was telling you earlier, winning three titles. Also been to three games against Carolina Marin, the former Olympic champion. Akane Yamaguchi, Herbing Zhao, Sina Dewo, Song Ji Hyung. I mean, yeah. that's that's the the creme de la creme, yeah. you know, in recent years. Oh yes, that's a lovely, lovely shot. spinning net shot really good racket carriage taking the shuttle as early as possible um, just before that Still a, a positive spring in the step from Yvonne Lee. She still <laughs> believes this is possible. possible. Definitely. Mm. She is pushing on. Yeah. What a shot. Yeah. That's a very, very nice around the head attack. Perfect on the line.
Yeah, that wasn't too shabby either, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Definitely not. Now you see, Morton, I think that look to tired shots. I think the, the physicality of, of keeping the intensity to get right behind the shuttle, I think she's struggling with that at times. She's okay for a, a few rallies, then takes a bit of a breather, as it were. And then back again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's challenging. No, she wouldn't have challenged if it was called out. No. It was called in. It's called in. It was called in. Called in. But, but she was out. out. So <laughs> that's a great challenge. Yeah. So have you had any uh, statistics from your stringing guys today? No, I haven't. Because behind the courts you can't see it on your on your screen but uh, left the um, stringing team is and they're not working very hard no. <laughs> they're standing around quite idle at the moment so it looks like they've been you know done they've all caught, the work they've caught up with the backlog <laughs> yes great because they've done a lot of rackets as you yeah. told us yesterday restored the six point advantage that she had at the mid game interval And that was better, she was right behind it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Good disguise. 11, 15. Oh, that's a beauty. She got away with that one. Ayupo was there, she anticipated it so well. Pressure into the deep backhand side. But the shot from Yvonne Lee was really good. Tight and with good pace. Well, it was in the first game, Ayupo got stuck on 15 for a while. History repeating itself at the moment. That's wide. Yes. Yeah, I thought she well was going to, Yeah, I thought she was gonna play it for a moment. Yeah, clearly wide. That's a good smash. Yeah. Best smash she's hit all match, I think. Yes. Christmas. Yeah, she had the jump to the round ahead situation and smashed down the line as well. 
which I thought was really good. Yeah. But I think they're the two best in the match. Yeah. From her racket. Mm. But that's good placement. Just two points in it. Remember, she was seven points adrift at the start of this game at one eight down. Six points adrift at the mid game interval. And now there's just one point in it. 15, I think Yvonne Lee is very, very clever right now. She had the option of getting the court mopped, but she chose not to, just using her feet and then getting the perspiration off the court, not to delay because she is in a rhythm. Yeah. That's really good tactical skills. Great awareness. And back level. 16, Seven of the last eight points to Yvonne Lee. 9.15 down she was. Play by Paiu Paul. Yeah, she needed that rally, didn't she? And I think you are right, Jill, on the, the physical aspect of the game now. Paiu Paul is feeling the pressure, yeah, the pace. She's very often changing the, the shuttle and all that as soon as she's got the opportunity which means that it's also a sign of, OK, I need a slight little break before I go on. Yeah. Well, 18, 16. she'll be kicking herself about that one. Worked so hard to get back to 16 all, and that was a cheap point. Oh, her opponent, Pai Yu Po, with that net shot error. Oi. Oh, had to think about it. Decided not to go over. Top of the tape. Yeah. Brilliant. On the line. Absolutely wonderful. What a smash. And how well she's recovered because the momentum had most definitely gone back in favour of Yvonne Lee with seven of eight points to get back to 16 all. Well, it appears Pine and Paul may have just regrouped in the nick of time because it's now four game point opportunities to level this women's singles at one game apiece. One game all, 21-16, the second game in favour of Pai Yu Po and Chinese Taipei. One game all calls the umpire, 
and we will be treated to a third and deciding game. 41 minutes into the match and it's one game all. Well, despite the terrific fight back by Yvonne Lee, Pai Yupo managing to convert that second game. This is the final rally of game number two. Good straight smash. One game apiece, we thought this might be the match of the day. <laughs> and we were right. Well, so they've far. all been good matches. <laughs> no, third think. match of the time, third one that's gone to a third game. Yes. Wonderful. Missed it. So, one. predictions here. Can Pai Yu Po maintain this skill level and this intensity? Well, about I, I think it, it's very important for Yvonne Lee to make sure that from the very beginning of the third game here, it, it becomes physical. If if it's not physical in the first half of this third game, then Payupo, in physical terms, can see the light at the end of the tunnel, and then yeah. that's not becoming an issue at all. So Yvonne Lee really have to make it physically tough. That's a nice lift. Oh, what a super disguise at the front of the court from Yvonne Lee. One, two, Just five. checked that neck shot. Look, a bit of racket movement to make it look as if it was going to be a flick. And then checking the racket head to play the neck shot. Lovely skill. Another one's gone wide. Interesting as well, Morton. You can see that it wasn't really anywhere near the back of the court either. No, no it's short. Yeah. But I don't think that Payupo is really anticipating well enough, utilising the situation well enough when she's catching Yvonne Lee on, on the backhand side and force her to play that backhand. Not a lot is coming from that situation, which means that she can really put some pressure at the front of the court but she's not really doing it. That's a nice one. That's out. Oh, she's challenging. It's her first challenge of the match, but you only get two challenges per game within yeah. the match. You can't accumulate them. No. Can't hold them over from the previous game. It's close, this one. I, however, still think it's out. But let's see. Yeah, you're right, Morton. So, challenge only one challenge left one challenge for the German.
Good pace to the rally. Yeah. Oh, oh my wow. goodness! Take that! Nice. What a smash! Awesome smash! See, that's what I mean, that uh, there is a, kind of a soft spot in that uh, backhand area for Yvonne Lee. This time she chose to go for the uh, the clear, but look at the finish from Ayu Po. Do you think it's playing on Yvonne Lee's mind that uh, she got up to 16 or? Not particularly, no. No. I would kick myself. Having won the first, yeah. been back, you know, yeah. been down, and then 16 all, and then suddenly losing 21 16, and now 7 2 down. Yeah. I would kick myself. Oh. Good scrambling. Yeah. Perfect commitment. I do hope the world of good as she wins this rally. I can tell you, after being so much pressure. And indeed, she does win this rally. On her knees, still won it. Longest running of this deciding game so far. 30 shots we had in the second game. It's going round and round in my head what you've just asked me. But I honestly think that she was probably so far down. Yes, she did awfully well uh, to win seven out of eight points yeah. to get back to 16 all. But I think her whole style of play is, is uh, she's such a fighter on court within every rally that I don't think I don't know her personality no, but me I, neither but I, I don't think she will actually dwell on that second game Four, and you're right you and I would Yes. <laughs> and all the sports psychologists would tell us never to do that, but yeah. sometimes you just can't help it. No, but oh, forget the second game. Yeah. Start us fresh in the third. Yes. How can I forget that? Yeah. <laughs> How can I put it behind me? Um, yeah, it's, it's just, again, we, we so often discuss, you and I, that it, it really, the, the good play is, they play well when it matters. Yeah. You know, when it, they get these tight situations, they're able to put uh, pull a, a few shots off the hat and then that's it. And um, and that's why I think, you know, Yvonne Lee would have been thinking, oh, 16 all, I wish I could have. Yeah. Well, she did awfully well to win that rally, did Pai Yu Po. She was in all sorts of trouble earlier on.
Now that was interesting to me more. That defensive shot from Pai Yu Po was really played back into court, so yeah. there couldn't be a net shot. Yeah. Or well, I think she could have tried, but it probably would have been loose. It would be the loopy one. Yeah. I agree. There was a good change of tactics. And it was a nice punch clear from Pai Yu Po, and it means she has a six point advantage at the change of ends here in the deciding game. But then she had a six point advantage in the second game, didn't she? And it went back to 16 all. So don't write off this lady yet. Yvonne Lee will keep fighting right to the end. She will. I've never seen her give up. No. Fifty two minutes into the match. Court one, twenty seconds. Well, Pai Yu Po just 10 points away from ensuring that Chinese Taipei will be in the quarterfinal knockout stage and that if that happens, Germany, their sort of in cup campaign as far as progressing to the knockout stage will be over. That's well wide. Yeah. That's, know, the start, that's the start she needs. <laughs> I think there might be a twist in the tail yeah. yet, you know, what? Yeah. But that's what we love about it, isn't yeah. it? Payu Po is taking more time between rallies now than she did before. That is so short. That's a terrible serve, wasn't it? That wasn't even going to reach the, the double service line. No, it did not. Line. Did not. It's a real gift for Pai Yu Po. Having such a good smash. Wide of the mark, but once again, look where the shuttle landed. Yeah. I mean, that's 20 good. centimetres short of the first line. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, indecision. That was a good play. That was oh, a really, yes. really good play. Wonderful technique on the hold and flick on the forehand side from Yvonne Lee into the deep forehand corner, forced the lift and a nice slice. Well, that's where she played herself into trouble with the... Oh, 
indecision at the back of the court. You know, that little hold and flick from Yvonne Lee was almost Tai Su Ying. <laughs> Both agreed on that one. Yes. <laughs> one of her favourite shots. But isn't it wonderful that other players look at the number one in the world, start copying their shots, trying to do the same sort of thing? This is why badminton has developed so much since our day, Morton, anyway. So true. Oh, well played. Well played. It's interesting this match is turning out in a way that Pai Yupo, of course, is trying anything to get the attack. And Yvonne Lee is trying anything she can to avoid to be attacked. Mm. Mister. a nice punch clear from Yvonne Lee, the attacking clear, as it's sometimes called. Well, this is far from over yet, you know, Morton. I this is a great so. match. It's fantastic. It's really enjoyable. Very nice. the one where it's out isn't it yeah yeah that's the situation exactly that one where Payupo is not getting enough out of the situation well you mean where she's got her opponent under pressure but yeah, this, this one here yeah and then the last shot of course is pushed out on the back line but nevertheless she's not getting enough out of having her opponent so much under pressure yeah so just two points in it now Make that one point in it. 13, Five of the last six points to Yvonne Lee. <laughs> Payupo wants to change the shuttle. Yvonne Lee say nope. Oh, oh, that's a beauty. That'll be interesting to see whether Pai Yu Po wants to change the shuttle now. <laughs> yeah. If she wanted to change it before, she should change it now. Yeah, because the umpire very much sides with the player who's about to serve. Yes. But she's not going to ask. Well spotted you. Ah! Uh, body smash. Clever change of tactic. Yeah. 
Yeah. The more I watch Pai Yu Po in this match, the more I think she has little spurts for two, three, four rallies and then struggles a little bit. Slowing down, coming back. Then another little spurt. Yeah. Whereas Yvonne Lee is very much the same intensity the whole way through. And showing no signs of tiredness. No, none at all. Mm, that's a gift. Yes, it is. Oh, that's good aggressive play from Yvonne Lee. And back to within a point of her opponent. Oh, she managed to get back to 16 all in the second game before losing it. Yvonne Lee. No, she can equal it on 17 all. Yeah. On. Off, well taken. Well, Pai Yu Po thinks that she may have been over the net when she played that, but no call from the umpire. Well, oh, there's a blood injury. What a time for this to happen. On a run of four straight points to get back to 17 all. <laughs> Scraped her knee. Blood injuries must be treated straight away. And she is on a roll. Yeah. That is desperately unlucky for Yvonne Lee. Well, the tournament referee on court, Girish Natu from India. And one of the tournament doctors. Can't see who it is at the moment. What's that he's putting on? Do you think that's Anti artificial skin? <laughs> Anti-infection. I don't know. Yeah. Well, 17 all. And actually that little medical timeout for Yvonne Lee has given Pai Yu Po a bit of a breather. Now Yvonne Lee have to watch out. It's a new shuttle, which normally means the faster shuttle, which means a more crisp attack from Pai Yupo. One goal, game all, 17 all. Good defence. Good pace, really good pace. Oh, well, once again, Yvonne Lee refusing to give up on the rally. One that time there, exactly that time there. Yvonne Lee was very careful not to put that knee on the floor. The one that she just got treated. In order not to aggravate it and then again having the doctor on court. Yeah. 
1817. Isn't what they say, who dares wins. Yeah, I can't help but think, I know this isn't over yet, but yeah. that medical timeout helped yeah. Pyupol. And then she's going for the big guns yeah. and just going all out. And if Yvonne Lee, if I was in her shoes, I would start going wildly attack. Oh, that's wild. That was a nervous looking shot. Yeah. Huge point. Oh yes, lovely drop. And it's all level once more. <laughs> 19 all. We couldn't have asked for more, could we? Well, this has been a fantastic match. It really has. We thought this could be a cracker. And it's more than delivered. Who's got the nerve? Yeah. Who's got the belief? Who's going to have the match point? And the answer is Paiu Po. That's a super return of serve. I can understand why Yvonne Lee was serving low, but what a return from Paiu Po. What a return. Very well played. So after almost an hour and ten minutes, match point opportunity for Chinese Taipei. That's out. Uh, she's called in. There's a challenge. There's a challenge. I saw that as in Morton. I think it's match, but we'll wait for the instant it review. It is really, really close. Well, Pai Yu Po was already celebrating. Ivan Lee is refusing to leave the court. Here we go. What does the instant review say? Oh, clearly in. Clearly On the in. line. <laughs> clearly in. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese Taipei take the women's singles in an absolutely thrilling encounter. Pai Yu Po coming from a game deficits to beat Yvonne Lee and Germany 21-19 in the deciding game and that of course means that Chinese Taipei by winning this singles 17-21, 21-16, 21-19 in the deciding game in an hour and 10 minutes they have three matches won in the overall tie and therefore they have confirmed their place in the quarter-final knockout stage uh, because they've had uh, two wins out of two within Group B. So Germany, sadly, cannot progress further. But what a match, that women's singles. The last two matches will be contested as they always are in the group stage of the Sudermann Cup. So we still have men's doubles and women's doubles to come. But this was the final rally of that thrilling women's singles. That was a nice play back to the net from Pai Yu Po. Played the attack down the forehand side of Yvonne Lee. Then cross. went for the cross court and she played it to absolute perfection. Look at this, plumb on the line. And although it was challenged, Oh, she is convinced and she was right Pai Yu Po as she had hit the winner and she had secured 
a quarter-final place for Chinese Taipei in Group B. But men's doubles to come up next. Don't go away. Plenty still to come. So welcome back to this magnificent facility in Vonta in Finland and it is a, a really beautiful day. We had a lot of fog and mist first thing but it's now absolutely beautiful. So there you can see the overall tie it's three love to Chinese Taipei against Germany which means that the tie is decided but in the group stage we do contest all five matches so next up is the men's doubles and it's Li Zhe Hui and Yang Po Shuan up against Ma 